Swift Group's Escape Range is the company's biggest seller, and for good reason. For seven seasons now, it's been wowing buyers with a tempting mix of affordability, generous equipment levels, and just good old-fashioned design and build flair. Indeed, it regularly bothers the upper reaches of the Practical Motorhome Owner Satisfaction Awards, scooping a hatful of gold awards down the years. So the company that doesn't innovate and just chooses to stand still, everything will be the same in the future. You can just keep on selling the same product, right? No, not at all. Swift has really changed the range for 2017. The first thing you'll notice is that there are no Luton overcabs anymore. Everything is low profile and there are six brand new models, including this super exciting 685. Now the first thing to mention about this new range, of course, is that it's all based on the latest version of the Fiat Ducato with the Euro 6 engine all very good. Another thing is that it's on the low frame Ducato chassis, so much easier to get in and out of the vehicle. And just look at this rear panel, really smart, all-in-one GRP molding. It's really got the wow factor. The 685 is a six berth with five belted travel seats. And as you can see, one of them is rearwards facing, very distinctive. Now this lounge also makes into two double beds one of them by rearranging all the seating down here and also up above a manually operated drop down bed with another spacious double with a duvelet mattress. Now manual I hear you cry, why would you want one of those? Surely electric is the best way to go. Well not necessarily, if you're camping off grid or if your ledger battery isn't topped up enough then a drop down bed using electricity is going to be problematic. Swift has recognised this and is moving towards fitting all its drop down beds with the mechanical option, i.e. that means using a bit of elbow grease, but it really isn't difficult at all and there's plenty of headroom. Some other interesting styling cues in the new Escape are the fact that there are no curtains. Instead, Swift has opted for these rather natty surrounds around the windows and blinds. Very continental and there's more of that towards the back of the van. Now our European friends, and we are going to remain friends despite Brexit. Anyway, they love an L-shaped kitchen, but we can do them really well in Britain too. Check this one out, three gas burners atop a combination oven and grill. Next to that, a round sink atop a rather large storage area. There's absolutely masses of space down there. You also get a microwave oven and a tall skinny fridge, which is very good in a space saving situation. Now also you have a very good V working station here so it's all very ergonomic. And while we're talking about ergonomics, there's the Swift Command Control Panel which puts all the services into one easy to navigate place. And what's more, you can control it using an app on your smartphone or tablet. How cutting edge is that? And talking about edges, how often do you see this kind of configuration in an entry level van? It's all part of an attention to detail that has seen Swift rip up the rule book from last year's van and try something completely different. Just look at these two-tone lockers, these chrome surrounds for the switches, a really great attention to detail there. But there's one other thing that I really like about this particular layout and obviously it is the U-shaped lounge at the back. Just check this out with the triple aspect windows, the roof light up above and the U-shaped seating. All very sociable to take advantage of the consistently excellent weather that we enjoy in the UK. And at night times it all converts into a super comfortable double bed. And for snack and meal times, you can add an occasional table here in the real lounge just by retrieving the table leg from the floating wardrobe plus the tabletop. And it all goes on quite easily just by popping on like that. And hey presto, you have a table. Now, if you don't want to use the table, obviously just pop it back in the floating wardrobe. And underneath that, you can convert one of the corner seat cushions into a handy coffee table. An all-in-one washroom is preferred for this particular van. You do, however, get a brand new vanity unit and sink, and don't forget the Eco Camel shower head. The cabs get the very latest version of Fiat's Ducato engine. It's a Euro 6 unit which Fiat has engineered with the exhaust gas recirculation technology rather than diesel exhaust fluid. That's ad blue to you and me. It means you don't have to carry a tank that eats into your overall weight which will be full of ad blue. Other features of note in the cab include concertina blinds for the windscreens and silver screens for the side windows. And fitted as part of the comfort pack, which also gives you reversing sensors, you get this rather fetching over cab skylight. The Swift Escape 685 is 6.93 meters long and has an MTPLM of 3,500 kilograms, so anyone can drive it on a standard car license. It also has a very respectable payload of 600 kilograms. 
Now, price information has yet to be released, but we understand that there will be a premium in the region of £2,000 over last year's models. That's no bad thing when you consider that you get the very latest version of Fiat's Ducato engine, which has the Euro 6 emissions standard. Now, I haven't seen the rest of the new models in this lineup, but if they're as good as the 685, then I'm sure I'll be very impressed and that Swift will continue to have a great success with this range, which is forecast to account for 44% of its total motorhome production. And one thing's for sure, you'll have some pretty great escapes in Swift's most popular motorhome range.